Hi everyone, uh, I got another system here to show you. <clears throat> this is my IBM uh, RISC system, RS6000. Uh, let's see here, can I get that? Uh, not really, okay. Anyway, sorry, IBM RS6000 system 390. Um, this system I've had for probably almost 10 years, probably probably almost 11 years. I got this thing in 2002, surplus off Beloit College. I even still have a Beloit sticker on the front. For a whopping $150, um, I've had this system online in various ways, shapes, and forms for a very, very long time. I've had this computer longer than I've had friends uh, who I hold near and dear. Um, anyway, long story short, uh, I'm going to be hosting a series of videos on this system, what it does, how it works, and how to do various things with it. Um, because uh, the RS6000 series, it's a power PC, or a power-based, excuse me, power processor-based uh, computer. Very little um, is done in the hobby world with this system. Uh, so I figured, well, I could contribute a bit more and show some people some fun stuff. I'm hoping to do a series of videos, um, one on how to use the IBM 3151 here. Yep, there we go. 3151 terminal with an RS6000 because again, I couldn't find any really quick instructions on how to uh, configure it. Um, I'm going to go over installing AIX, the RS6000's operating system on a machine, how to get it configured, how to get it online. Um, I'm going to show you how to do some graphics work. I have it running CDE right here, which is a really, really old graphics desktop um, system, similar to like KDE or GNOME or um, XFCE and things like that. Um, and then ultimately, I'm going to show some, uh, some software stuff. This is going to be probably a very software-heavy series of videos because the hardware is kind of what it is. Um, but pretty neat stuff there too. So stay tuned and keep watching.